Hey, welcome back to my channel. This is John's Garage where we talk about everything related to cars. So today we're going to talk about battery maintenance. And we have this Solar BA5 battery tester. And I'm not sure if they still make this. I bought this a while ago. But uh, this, this is a really inexpensive way of testing your car battery to see if it's any good before you go on a long trip or if it needs maintenance. I think th these things are really great. The battery testing has come a long way since the carbon pile testers. and This is very simple. There's, there's no plug to the wall. It just runs off your, your car battery. And it tests all kinds of batteries. So It tests uh, conventional lead-acid flooded batteries. That's starter light ignition. Um, AGM, traditional, they call them flat. Uh, we got spiral, SPL, spiral wound. Uh, that that would be like Optima, red tops, yellow tops. Uh, gel batteries, gel cell batteries. Uh, that's an error. And it, it's really simple. I'll show you how it works. And you can't hurt your battery with this. Uh, it knows if you hook your cables up wrong. Um, it's very simple. So what you really need is the sticker on the battery that tells you how many cold cranking amps and how many cranking amps, CA and CCA. Those are the two types of tests you're going to do here, and it tells you the voltage. So if you got that sticker on your battery, that's where you want to start. Okay, so the first place we want to start is with the information from the sticker on this battery. So we can see here that we got 910 cranking amps and 720 cold cranking amps. And this is a Spiral Optima Red Top battery. So that's where we're starting. So we got our negative here. We got our positive over here. So when you're hooking this up, you always want to start with the positive. Don't ever touch the positive and negative at the same time on your battery. That would be really bad. So we're going to hook up the red positive. And then I'll show you the screen on this while we're doing this. So we hook up the black negative. And you see it turns on. Okay? So, we got 12.75 uh, volts DC. That's good. And so we hit enter. And we got a spiral wound battery. So you can change that if you got a flat. You got a starter light ignition, traditional battery, but we got an Optima, so we're going to go with Spiral. Hit Enter, and let's test the cranking amps. So we saw on the sticker that cranking amps is 910, so we hit Enter and we say, well, what should that be? We'll set it at the sticker. The sticker is 910. Enter, and it tells you a green light. You got a green light there, it says OK. You got 770, 770 cranking amps. OK, that's good. Now let's test the cold cranking amps. So hit Enter, Enter, Spiral. Let's test cold cranking amps. Enter, and our sticker set is 720. So let's go down to 720. Oh, go up 720. That's what our sticker says this battery is rated at for cold cranking amps. Hit enter. We got 640. So 640 cold cranking amps out of 720. Uh, the other things that could come up with is say you need to charge it more or you have a fail. If it's a fail and you've already charged it and you can't you can't get any more out of it, it's time to go buy a new battery. That means it's usually around you know. 
life left and you don't want to go on a long trip or you know be in a cold climate anyway this battery is good and you know we can always charge it some more and see the car has been parked for about a week so it, it is a good battery so when you disconnect always do the negative first take it off and take the positive off put your covers back on and there you go that's how you test a battery